I love making macarons all year round, but at Christmas you can have a lot more fun with the decoration. This is my little play on Christmas pudding macarons. I've combined some icing sugar and ground almonds that I've blitzed in a food processor to powder them really finely. This is a really important step, otherwise your macarons might have lumps in them which makes them a lot less impressive to look at. And I'm going to be adding to this some spices to get them a nice festive feel. So I'm adding two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and half a teaspoon of ground ginger. You can use any spices you like, but these are my favourite Christmassy spices. Then you just want to stir these together so the spices are really evenly distributed. And then I'm going to add half of my egg whites. I've got them in two separate bowls and mix. You can already smell that lovely Christmassy scent. Let's just work it in. People are often really worried about making their own macarons, but if you follow the steps carefully and weigh things properly, they're actually quite simple to make. So this has all come together nicely into a thick paste. So I'm going to set that to one side and start making the Italian meringue, which you combine with the paste to make the base of the macarons. So I'm going to pour some water into a small saucepan, add some caster sugar. This is going to make a syrup. I just want to briefly combine them using a spoon. Make sure that the water and the sugar are well mixed. And then pop this onto a medium heat. We're looking for a temperature of 118 degrees, so I'm going to use a sugar thermometer to measure that. Whilst our syrup is coming up to temperature, I'm going to whisk the remaining egg whites in a stand mixer to get them whisked into soft peaks. So our egg whites are now at soft peaks. They hold their shape, but they're not really stiff. And my syrup has reached 118 degrees, or the soft ball stage. So I'm going to take that off the heat, put this onto a medium speed, and then slowly pour the syrup into the egg whites, which will slowly cook them. Just pour it down the side of the bowl. You want to try and avoid the whisk. And then once you've added all of your syrup, you want to carry on whisking for about another five minutes and turn it up to a high speed now. The outside of the bowl is cool to the touch so you know that your meringue is ready. I'm going to be colouring my macarons brown because I want them to look like little Christmas puddings but you can colour them any colour you like. If you can't get hold of brown food colouring you can mix together a red and a green. So you just need to play around with it a little bit until you get the desired shade. I'm just going to add that into the mixture and then give that a whisk to combine. My meringue is a nice shade of pale brown. And take the bowl off the mixer. So now we're going to fold together the meringue and the almond paste. And you just want to mix these together. You're looking for a ribbon texture. So you're basically trying to break down some of the air in the meringue that you've just created to get the mixture to just the right consistency that it will hold its shape. So just keep folding it and mixing it. So when you pull a spatula out, it should kind of leave a nice ribbon in the bowl and come up like that. So this is about ready. Just spoon into a piping bag. I'm going to spoon about half the mixture into the bag at the moment because I find it easier to work with a small amount of mixture when I'm piping. And then squeeze it down, trying not to get any air bubbles. So I've got two baking trays which I've lined with a sheet of baking parchment and I've put a template underneath that I've printed off of little circles so that you can get each macaron to exactly the same size. So just use your piping bag to pipe a small amount of mixture. Just hold your piping bag vertically and apply pressure to the top of the bag, just pressing down and then lifting off. It will form a little peak but you can either wet a finger to push them down or they'll sink back in with your mixture as you leave them to rest. So I'm just going to pipe the very last macaron. Then you want to remove the paper templates from underneath the macarons. Just hold onto the parchment and pull out the template. Then we're going to leave the macarons to form a little skin over the top for about 30 minutes. They should be dry to the touch when they're ready. And then they're going to bake in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. My macarons have baked and cooled, now I'm ready to fill them, which is the fun bit. So I've got some brandy butter in a piping bag, 
Makes them taste really Christmassy. And I'm just gonna pipe a little blob onto half of the macarons. A little circle onto each one. And once you've filled all the centers with brandy butter, you can sandwich the top onto each macaron. So I'm going to make some white icing to go on the top of my macarons. It should kind of imitate the white on the top of a Christmas pudding. Let's just put about two spoonfuls into a bowl. You're going to add a tiny splash of water and stir it together. I want it to hold its shape on the top of the macaron. And as soon as you've got the thick paste, you can spoon your icing into a piping bag. Squeeze it down to the bottom. Just chop off the end, allowing just a very small circle. So pipe like a wiggle of icing over the top. You want it to look as if the icing is dripping over the side. And then I've got some green icing. I'm going to make two holly shaped lines. Then I've got a bag of red icing and do a few little berries in the centre of the pudding. These are my Christmas pudding macarons and they'd make a perfect Christmas canopy. Kind of